<laughs> hey friend, welcome. I am at Aldi. Can you see it? It's kind of bright. Ah, oh, there it is. It's my favorite. <sighs> it's Monday before Thanksgiving and I'm heading in and it is so busy. I'm kind of dreading it, but I have to get all the things that I need for my Thanksgiving dinner. So we're going in. We're gonna look around, hopefully get everything that we need. I will take you back home and show you what I got and then I'll share my meal plan and what we're planning on making for Thanksgiving. So, all right, let's go. If you're new here, thanks for coming. I'm Jen, I'm married to Alex, and we have four kids. They're three, five, 11, and 14. So I like to chat about contentment and what that means in a world that's just full of comparison. And Aldi for me is that contentment. I feel like I can buy good quality food and not spend a whole ton of money. And so I love Aldi. <laughs> um, so I didn't video in there because it was packed. I mean like packed. It was crazy. I thought going on Monday it was going to be a little bit better, but oh my word, it was so packed. But I will show you what I got. There was one thing I couldn't find and I ended up, I'll just take it off my list. I'm not going to make another trip to Meyer or Walmart or anything for that. Um, I did have a coupon and I forgot to use it. I hate that. It bugs me so much. But, oh well, it is what it is. All right, I'll show you what I've got. All right, I walked in and they had their Christmas poinsettias out. And so I grabbed one because they're good. I got some napkins because I like pretty napkins for Thanksgiving. And then I have um, granola bars and fruit strips. And more granola bars just for snacks around here. And then milk chocolate because this is the time of year that we like to bake a lot and eggs for baking heavy whipping cream for our pies and stuff that is soup i've never actually had that soup um from aldi but it looks really good i've been really wanting um grilled cheese and mm, soup and so really yes they are so i got some cheese for that also a cheese for a um breakfast Mom. casserole got some butter for baking um, I bought cranberries. I don't really know why. I walked in the door and they were there and I thought, oh, it's Thanksgiving. I should buy cranberries. Mom, do I, I did make also this and this, then just mix it and just put it in a pan, then it will be cheese. That sounds lovely. Um, I've been wanting a candle. I don't. I don't know about can candles stress me out. Um, so this one smelled pretty good. I let's see. I also got bread for the um, grilled cheese and soup. We're gonna have tomorrow for lunch. I got oats for breakfast. We actually eat oatmeal for breakfast quite a lot. I, I have a video on that that I will link in the description. And this I thought was just fun. It's white winter spiced cranberry sprite. I had like a sparkling apple cider Mom, apple juice in my cart and I traded it out for that. I just thought sometimes for Thanksgiving and we like to do something just a little bit extra, a little bit special. So that's another thing is this pumpkin pie dessert hummus with some pretzels. I did myself a favor and got um, frozen yeast rolls for our dinner, grapes for my charcuterie board, almond milk because we needed it, bananas because we needed it, and then we will do, um, I'm going to show you my menu plan here in a minute, but we will do um, appetizers and like a charcuterie board for lunch <clears throat> on Thanksgiving, excuse me. So I, Spanish. Spanakopita. <laughs> I don't know. They just looked good. <laughs> I'm hungry. Uh, cream cheese, stuffed jalapenos, and then we'll also have these meatballs with ma maple bacon. I thought that sounded so good. Um, we will have carrots and cucumber with some hummus. Um, apples. My oldest daughter, actually I haven't asked her yet, but she makes really good um, apple pie. So hopefully we're going to make some apple pie. 
and some Brussels sprouts for our green vegetables. These were just another fun thing. Uh, these dark chocolate sea salt caramels are just delicious. All right, this is like my pile of charcuterie board uh, items. So there's some crackers and some dried fruit and some nuts. I have some other nuts here and pita chips. I also kind of probably got too much cheese, but this balsamic onion cheddar sounded good. And this is just sliced up mozzarella. And that is the cranberry white cheddar. It's a cheddar theme. And then uh, just a regular New York white cheddar. Thought that sounded really good. I got dry salami and pepperonis. And then also this buffalo chicken breast. And I got gherkin pickles and a baby kosher whole pickle. Okay. Um, so Thanksgiving morning, we'll have um, probably some French toast or like a French toast casserole with this. I was trying to buy something that was like pre-made, but they didn't have very much. And I will also make like a savory casserole. Usually I use hash browns, but they didn't have any. So I feel like tater tots and hash browns are the same thing. And I'm going to have to spice my uh, ground turkey because I didn't have the sausage that I like. And then I got chips and salsa and guacamole and some hummus, of course. I also, um, for my coffee, I usually just use like oat milk and either honey or uh, maple syrup. But I don't know. I just feel like this sounded good because it's caramel. But I like oat milk a lot better. I'm not a huge fan of peppermint. So I just thought I'd try it. And just thought it now felt apples. festive for... The season now and then my apple. husband requested uh sweet now corn apple. also for our thanksgiving dinner all right so this is all that i spent it was right at 155 dollars which i feel like this is a ton of food for 155 dollars and apple. i'm gonna get this put away and then i will share with you my menu plan so I tried to just make things really simple. You can see my very fancy menu planner here. It's just a very uh, worn out, trash uh, notebook here. But just tried to make things really simple on myself for the next two days. So we're just gonna have oats uh, for breakfast. Tomorrow morning, or tomorrow for lunch, I'll make fried rice. And on Wednesday, grilled cheese and soup. I might switch that around. I have some things to make spaghetti, like I already have the meat cooked up and ready to go. So we need to have spaghetti. And then on Wednesday, we'll just do some sort of meat, veggies and potato, just basically using what we have on hand. My sister-in-law had a farm and she just loaded this up with some meat recently. So I have some meat from her and yeah, I'll just make that real simple. So then Thursday morning, we are going to have, I wrote sweet rolls, but basically um, that brioche, chocolate chip brioche bread, I'm going to make into like a French toast casserole. And then I'll also make a savory casserole. casserole. I'll probably make both of those Thursday night. <laughs> Excuse the extra hand here. That will just be simple breakfast ready to go, but a little extra special for Thanksgiving day. So then for lunch, we'll have appetizers. We're gonna have those meatballs. I'm gonna do a charcuterie board. We'll have hummus and vegetables, chips and guacamole, salsa. Um, it'll be pretty simple, but also just delicious and a little extra special, especially with all those. Sorry, I'm getting bumped. So with all those things for the charcuterie board. All right, so for dinner, I don't know if you noticed, I did not get a turkey. We are going to my mom's on Friday for a big Thanksgiving dinner. So for Thursday, I didn't want to go overboard. I was hoping they would have a ham, but um, Alex usually picks out my ham because ham stresses me out. We do have a chicken in the freezer. Probably what I will do is just pull out that chicken and we will roast the chicken. We're gonna have mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, the sweet corn like I told, uh, I talked about, and some rolls. And like I said, I just made that easy on myself and got some um, 
Oh goodness, sorry, I'm being climbed on. So then I'm gonna make some sort of pumpkin something, like a pumpkin crisp or a pumpkin, not really a pie, probably. And like I said, probably my oldest daughter will make an apple pie. I haven't asked her yet, but she usually likes to bake, so. And then I will make two of everything, and then one will be for Thursday for our family. And I bought whip, whipping cream to whip up for that. And then one set will then I will take to my mom's on Friday. And I'm also going to make sweet potatoes for Friday. Um, and I have those here at home, so I didn't need to buy any. I had plenty because that is something that I try to keep stocked up because we eat a lot of sweet potatoes. So that is what we're eating for Thanksgiving and for Tuesday and Wednesday. So I think that Tuesday and Wednesday part is so huge when you have that taken care of and then you're not like going out to eat or scrambling or, you know, surviving on peanut butter and jelly, which is totally something that happens sometimes. So anyway. I think that is huge. All right, well, hopefully I'm gonna get some of my stuff made up tomorrow on Wednesday as well. Are you like a prepper person? Do you do your holiday baking and stuff beforehand or are you like a Thursday only? Everything gets done on Thursday. Let me know in the comments. All right, um, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for just checking out, seeing what I've got going on for Thanksgiving for this year. Make sure you give this video a like, thumbs up, and subscribe, and check out some of my other videos. I make videos on motherhood, marriage, and homemaking. So you can check out a video right here. And as you are celebrating Thanksgiving this week, please remember, you are okay just the way you are. I'll see you soon.